All right, let's get started. This is a stream for um, replicating Lazy Fuse productions of the uh, SDL tutorial, but this time for NIM. Um, I had done some live recording, it didn't turn out very well, so I'm going to give an abridged version of what we've covered so far and just to talk through um, getting started and a few other things like that. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to make this text a bit bigger. As I said, this is a translation of Lazy Few Production um, tutorial to the NIM language using the official NIM bindings. So you get started, you may need to install two things, as I've shown here. And in this video, it's, it's an abridged version, so we're just going to show you uh, just a few things of NIM and um, basically the translation process in my head. The, so to to start off with, let's let's show a hello world example of NIM, um, and it's quite straightforward. You just do echo hello world, and to compile we can do uh, NIM C dash R, so that it will run after it compiles. Hello dot NIM. Okay, you can see that it prints hello world. All right. So this is not covered within the lazy few productions, but it's important just to make sure that it works. Okay, so the very first chapter, um, we look at STL, which stands for the Simple Multimedia Layer. Now, as part of um, the tutorial, it talks through how do you install STL and so on. Now, I'm going to leave the instructions or I'll fill it in later um, when I get a chance. There's plenty of tutorials to do this and it's not really anything to do with NIM, so I'm just going to leave it for you to find out. Now the important thing um, when when you transition from the C++ bindings to the NIM bindings is to understand how these things are mapped. So in the first tutorial, here are some things. Here are, uh, here are some of the corresponding uh, procedures that are used in NIM. I'm not going to go through all of them. Most of them are self-explanatory. They've just renamed them and removed the prefix. Alright. So I've, I've now fixed this error. Uh, in the original live stream, I did not uh, succeed uh, but it doesn't it, it's okay now so I'm not going to well I'll, I'll, let's just delete that uh, and at some stage I'll probably publish what I'm doing here all right so let's have a look at the hello world and um, rather than looking at this file I'm just going to try to re-implement it again uh, just for my just for my own sake um, more than anything else uh, I'm going to close that um, but I am going to use the skeleton because I don't want to go and create everything all over again. So, uh, so this is my original one and I am going to create a new file called hello scale. Okay. So I'm going to just copy and paste the skeleton to start off with. Let's make everything a little bit smaller. Um, bare bones STL to example and this is going to be a uh, the lazy foo production variation of the tutorial one. Okay, so uh, yeah. Let's start off by looking uh, we're gonna leave the first few things because they're the same. We you see that in in this particular part we initialize um, the window pointer and the uh, uh, screen surface pointer. So let's let's just follow the same concept. And this is the uh, surface pointer, actually, not screen surface pointer. Sorry. And then we uh, next. So this will be the window that we're rendering to. Let's just add the same comments. And I think I have space is equals four. Seems two. This is the window we'll be rendering to, and this is the, the surface contained by the window. All right, and then let, 
let's go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to ignore the error handling. It's bad practice, but um, we'll leave with it for now, it's just, just so that we can get through these things. Let's start off by using undefined. So they've used undefined so because it doesn't really matter where it starts in the screen. Uh, we're going to drag it around anyway, and I'll have to because, as you can see, I'm coding in the browser, and you can't really run these programs in the browser, so uh, yeah, I'm going to need to drag it over so, so that I can show you. Then we have screen width, screen height, which I will copy and paste at some stage and uh, show you. Okay, so this will be different again. Uh, and let's just create the uh, screen width and screen height, right? I think I can do that. Something like this. Course we can be explicit with our types so um, let's do that so let's do int right. this is how you do this in new uh, change the title and then I want to uh, I don't want a renderer because I removed that right so let's go and do the window surface what did I say get window surface becomes get surface. Right, so we have screen surface, which is this pointer here, right, surface, it's equal to get surface. And what's the parameter? Is this a window? So it's the window. And uh, we wanna, let's have a look at what this is. We want to fill the surface with white. So let's have a look. Fill rep. This is a bit that tripped me over the first time round. So let's see if I can do it. Screen surface, right? This is a pointer. The second parameter is nil. So how nim does it? And then we use the map RGB. So map RGB. And the very first it, um, thing is the uh, Pixel pointer actually, which is a screen surface format, so semantics, right? And then we need the uh, the unsigned int for a particular color. So they they, they use white in the tutorial, so let's just use white as well. So that's two five five two five five two five five. And uh, later on, we'll show that this works by actually changing the values, of course. Um, the, next, the next thing we need to do is we need to update update the window surface. So let's have a look at what this update is. So update surface, okay, update surface, and then we do window, and then we need to have a delay. So what's the delay? Is this delay? It's pretty straightforward. And uh, let's make it 2000. I think um, when I played around with it, I increased it by a factor of 10, which is why this is uh, 20,000. And then the last thing we do is we destroy the window. Destroy window. All right, and then uh, that should be it, I think. So that, that's all we need to do. And let's just show that this works. So, gonna open up the terminal here. So again, and then we're gonna do nim, compile, run, um, of hello. Alright, so hopefully this works. Alright, screen width. So, required type for WEC int, I gave an int. Alright, so I've made a boo boo. Um, I think I just need to yeah, see int. Go. Alright, and let's try again. Error update surface window is type in. Okay, so uh, discard 
return we just need to discard the return value um i think in a it, it's not i just need to yeah ignore so yeah we just need to discard it so i think you can just run discard in nim let's 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 see whether that works. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to increase this. This is why I increased it, so that we can actually see what happens. All right. So because it just spawns anywhere. Here we go. We have a white square. So that's the tutorial for the first video. Okay. Let's close this. I'll I'll let it let it sit. So maybe like I'll make this five seconds instead, and just to show you that this works, let's put RGB. So this will be a different color. Let's uh, try this. Yeah. So now we have cyan. So there we have it. That's the very first tutorial um, converted to NIMH.